Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today's gonna to be an exciting day out here at Piney Grove. We hope by the end of today, by nightfall, we'll have this house completely floored. Let me show you what we're going with. So we got a luxury vinyl plank from Home Depot. This is called Bow River Hickory. This is gonna be what's gonna cover most of the flooring in this house. In addition to the luxury vinyl plank, we're also gonna put carpeting down here in the living room and the two bedrooms. And by we, I mean the Home Depot installers because I'm not gonna be putting down this flooring. I'm just gonna be watching and documenting. But before we get started, I gotta clean this place up. I gotta sweep it and vacuum it and get it ready for the flooring. If you don't do that, it doesn't matter if it's a new house or a remodeled house, the flooring installers are not gonna sweep or vacuum this up. They're just gonna lay the flooring on top of this dust and this grit. And my fear is, is that there's some sort of, you know, piece of spackling or a thick piece of paint that may hold the flooring up. So I'm trying to get it as clean as possible. And if I see any of those high places, I'll take a scraper and scrape it off. But that's what I'm gonna be doing for the next hour or so is just two inches at a time, this whole house getting as clean as I can before the installers get here. But I got this whole house vacuumed, clean as I can get it. We'll track in a little bit as the guys bring in the stuff and we'll just keep it swept up and vacuumed as they come in. We just laid out the house as far as vinyl versus carpet, and I just got off a FaceTime call with Deb because I actually forgot exactly how we wanted the vinyl to hit up with the carpet. But we got that all squared away, and we also got squared away whether we wanted the planks to be oriented, say, north-south versus east-west, because the best way to do vinyl planking is to do the whole house in the same direction. So I'll show you what we went with, and there's gonna be probably a four by six entryway there so that when you come in the front door, you don't track in dirt into the carpet. Then all this area will be carpet. And then you'll see the red tack strip here, and that will separate the carpet from the luxury vinyl plank, and that will be the orientation of the plank. So you see that strip goes all the way over there to the bedroom, and you'll go from the living room to the bedroom, and you'll be on carpet. And then the refrigerator goes right there, so all this area, all this area in here will be vinyl. Now that's where the very first piece of vinyl will go. He's already cut a bunch of pieces, like one third and one half, because you don't want the planks to line up. You don't want to see the seams of the plank, so you stagger them. He's already pre-cut those pieces, and I believe he's gonna lay the very first piece up there against the sliding glass door. Okay, the installers are outside taking a smoke break in the 90 degree Florida heat. I think if I was a smoker, I'd give it up on a day like today. Anyway, they got the kitchen started right here. More updates coming. Guys, it's 90 degrees out here. I'm in the shade. It's really not that bad. There's a little breeze, but that's in the direct sunlight. And them guys are just hauling on that heavy carpet. It's, uh, it's not easy work. Okay guys, here's the four hour update. They got here at 10, it's about two o'clock and we've got all the carpet padding down. We got one bedroom that's got carpet going in it right now. We've got the laundry room completed with the luxury vinyl plank. And you can hear him in the background, he's putting it in in the kitchen now. So let's take a look at what we're doing here. So here's the padding is down in the living room. And we'll go here to the master bedroom and the padding is down. The kitchen. Pretty much done with vinyl here. And part of the dining room kitchen combo, I'd say half of it is done. 
can see we're staggered all the way across here, and then we go into the laundry room, and the laundry room's completely done. And there's the carpet going into the hallway. There's the other bathroom. And he's working on the carpet in there. All right, that's your update. It's looking really, really good. It looks like they are definitely gonna finish this today. So I'll give you another update here in a couple hours. Okay, it's about five o'clock and the guys I would say are maybe three quarters done, maybe a little bit farther than that. I've been trying to clean up behind them because I know it's gonna be a late day for them. So all behind me, I've been picking up the scraps of carpet, the scraps of vinyl, taking them out to the dumpster. But we've got the utility room done, we got the bedroom done, we got the living room done, we got the kitchen and dining room that I'm standing in done. So we have the second bathroom to do. He's in here in the master bedroom, finishing up the carpet and we've got the double closet and the bathroom almost done in the master bath. So after all that's done and they get that other bathroom done, then they gotta run quarter round all the way around the house where the vinyl is, and then they'll be done. So it's five o'clock, I'm thinking it's gonna be at least you know two more hours before we're done here. But let's do a progress check and see what we got. So the kitchen's all done all the way up to the living room, and that transition piece there has to be put in. We gotta do a transition right there into the HVAC doorway and then there'll have to be a transition there into that second bathroom. So that one is not done yet. So swinging around, we gotta do the entry or foyer area where we're gonna put some vinyl just to keep that clean as you walk in from the front door. We'll come into the master bedroom and he's finishing up the carpet in here. We'll come over here to the master bath in the his and hers closet. It's all done through here. got a little bit of work going on back there where the toilet is. So that's where we're at. The next update, it might be a little bit closer to dark. So the transition piece is a piece of T-molding and it goes right here and gets glued down right there. So the builder left the molding here sticking out on the corner and these flooring installers can't cut that molding because it's not their molding, so I have to cut it. I didn't get it perfect, but I got it a lot better than what it was. I could barely even see the line, and that multi-tool was a little dull, and it was pretty erratic, but it looks a lot better than it did. Let me show you what it looked like before and after. So this is what it would look like if they would leave it, just like that, because they can't cut this molding right here. They gave me a saw and I cut it, and that's what it looks like afterwards. I'm glad I was here, because there's no way I could have lived with that cabinet with that quarter inch gap and that quarter round all the way around it. Well, as I predicted, the sun is setting and we're not quite done. They're putting down the quarter round now and then sealing it with some caulking. But after they're done, we're still gonna have to do a cleanup. So there's still a little bit more left to do. All right, guys, we're getting real close to wrapping this thing up. It's 8.30. I left the house at seven this morning. I'll get home at 10. That'd be a, I can't even count right now. It's gonna be a long day though. But they are vacuuming, they're cleaning up, they're rehanging the closet doors, and we'll have this thing wrapped up here in a minute. All right, folks, the installers just left and the house has been totally transformed. We went from, 
a house that was painted, but with the concrete floor showing, it just didn't seem finished. It just didn't seem like a house. But now with the flooring in here, it really feels like a house. I can say that this house is going to remind my folks of the house that they're leaving because we chose colors that were very similar to the house that they're living in. So if you like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up at the bottom. Comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. But otherwise, that's all I've got. So until the next one, take care out there, y'all.